this fire wash, we call it klesha nashana kriya. That means an act which will take away the impurities that gather around you. There is a certain way to do which few generations ahead, people knew exactly how to do. We have relieved people of various chronic ailments just by this fire wash. Sadhanaanga manillalo generally this disti is a very big thing. Disti tells kada. Initially I used to think this is one chadastam. My mom just wants to do something. Okay, do it. Ani mani. But later, later when uh, when I started having this some accident at the shoot or something, something it kept on happening. And particularly I had this back to back hits and and then I had this back to back accidents also. And then without me realizing, I started believing it. Suddenly, I, I've started reminding my mom, Amma, this is Elthana. So, this concept is Rakrakal Mandi, Rakrakal Gachatar. People say some energy and Arunkot and Arunkot and Arunkot. But it is a very household thing, it's a very popular belief. Din Meda, me abhi private. Irunda, Leda. Daily snanam chastar. No, why I'm asking is in Chennai they're having bath once in three days. Me inka hydrobed. Inka akar polet meiru. Akar da kelle. Inka Hussain Sagar loo. So, yesterday I was speaking with a prominent group of people in the evening. One of the government officials said all these rich people are having shower every day. I said, where do you come from? <laughs> In South India, without having a shower, we won't step out of our home. Yeah. No matter what, even if we don't drink, we'll shower first. <laughs> yeah. So don't start this new culture, <laughs> have shower once in… Thank God it's Friday <laughs> So, you have… you wash your body with water. It's not just about remo removing the dirt, even if you don't have any dirt. Have you seen after a day's work, if you pick up a lot of stuff, you come and have a shower, oh, it's like a new life has come. Does it happen? Hmm? Yes. Not just cleansing the body, it's not the soap, just the water running over your body. You go take a dip in a river, stay there for ten minutes, Come out, just see, it feels like you're born again. Because you need to understand this body is made of fundamentally five elements of earth, water, fire, air and space. This season in our yoga center, because we have a wind tunnel in the sense, from the silent valley, the winds, that, the monsoon winds that blow, gets kind of focused in the valley and when it comes towards the yoga center, it'll be coming anywhere between seventy to… seventy to hundred and ten kilometers per hour, different times of the day. So at this time, all our people are doing sadhana, just standing in the wind like this, because this is a wind wash. Water wash, you're doing every day, wind wash you can do. People, yogis were always smearing themselves with earth, but today that's become mud bath in the spa, okay? So mud bath is there, similarly there is a fire wash. This fire wash, we call it klesha nashana kriya. That means an act which will take away the impurities that gather around you. Because your body is not just here, your body doesn't stop here, it extends itself. Have you noticed? Probably women are more sensitive to this than men. You don't have to be touched by somebody. If somebody comes a bit too close, not a psychological thing, that's a different matter. Psychological and emotional aspects are there. Leaving that, if somebody comes too close, right there itself there is a feeling that, you know, 
you want some distance. They haven't touched you, just like this. This itself causes some disturbance, isn't it? Because the body doesn't end here, the energy is little beyond that. How much beyond that depends on how exuberant your life energies are. If your life, life energies are truly exuberant, you can fill this hall with it. Otherwise, it is at least a little bit. For most human beings, it could be anywhere between three to nine inches outside of their body. So as impurities gather on your body, if you drive out, if you drive a two-wheeler, you will see I become younger every time I ride a motorcycle. Because if I drive… if I ride for four to five hours and come back, people say, Sadhguru, your beard has turned black, <laughs> full black carbon <laughs> <laughs> so, pollution. <laughs> so you gather material on your body, you wash it. Similarly, you're gathering other kinds of material upon your energetic system. You can wash this with water, certain impurities will go with that. If you wash it with air, certain other things will go, but air is not always available like that. You can even notice this, if you… But these days, uh, these fans are going at a certain speed. But if you have the fan set at the right kind of speed, if you just sit under the fan for some time, you will see something within you lifts up. Have you noticed this? Yes. Little air wash. Similarly, there's a fire wash, which you're calling drishti. Is it necessarily happening because of other people's loop or not? That's a questionable matter. But impact of life around you upon your energy system is definitely happening. If you have a spiritual process within you, that is you're doing some kriya or you're doing some meditative processes, then you don't need all this because you know how to wash yourself from within. If you do not have that, these things become significant. I must tell you this, there is a certain way to do which few generations ahead, people knew exactly how to do. But today I'm seeing they're just burning something and doing this, this, this. If you come to the yoga center, we're doing this Kleshanasana Kriya in a scientific manner, how it should happen. We have relieved people of various chronic ailments just by this fire wash. One surprise element that we found out recently is, we found that many children who are suffering with ADH, with learning disabilities, Within a matter of six to eight weeks of this fire wash, they have changed dramatically. This we never expected. <laughs> so, your mother knowingly, unknowingly giving you a fire wash might have given you some learning ability. Thank you. I'm bowing down to her. She did fire wash. Same. <laughs>